What's up guys, Geos now right here and in today's video we're going to discuss about iOS 10.3 jailbreak. It has been demoed by somebody on Twitter and I'm going to discuss about it and I'm going to tell you whether it's fake or not. So let's get straight into it and we're talking again about iJapija00. Now this guy has been around into, into this, um, I don't know, jailbreaking thing, jailbreak demoing thing for a while now, but uh, there is a problem. The problem start in here. He uh, posted on January some, uh, some post on his Twitter saying, quote, after every beta release, I look for potentially patched bugs, but also for new exploitable bugs. Okay, a few days later, iOS 10.3 and the build number, and he basically, what he says in here is that he managed to jailbreak iOS 10.3, so it says, um, iPhone 9.3 being iPhone 7, iOS 10.3 in here, and um, yeah, he demos the fact that it's jailbroken. So what's the problem in here? Now this guy has been around for for a while using this. He's a Twig developer, so it's not just a random guy, and he made that Yaka Utilities thing that Sorik said you shouldn't install on iOS 10, but the Twig itself is a good one, just not compatible or in conflict with Yalu jailbreak, but it's a good tweak. Now, this guy has been the one who uh, tried to make that fix for Yalu when uh, Yalu was in the first stage, you know, when the Yalu jailbreak didn't have that substrate fix. And, uh, you know, if you remember a month ago, when he had that little beef with Sorik and with uh, Look at the Desco for making that fix, and uh, Sorik wrote this kilometric post in here that I definitely would recommend you to read. It's basically pretty straightforward, even though it's a little bit long. I wonder how much uh, time it took him to, to write this thing. But anyways, uh, Sorik explains in here perfectly what happens when a developer like iJapija uh, releases in the wild what he did, uh, that fix. Well, let's don't talk about fixes and tweaks, let's, let's talk about his jailbreak uh, things. So, we know iJapija00 is a tweak developer, he made Yaka Utilities, he made a fix, well, allegedly fix, because it was a simple bypass of a security mechanism in, uh, put in place by Look at the Desco. But anyways, uh, we know he knows how to develop apps. But is, is that enough to make him a jailbreak developer? Well, on his YouTube account, he has quite a few videos demonstrating some kind of jailbreak, uh, being it for 10.1, 10.2, and 10.2.1, and now on Twitter for 10.3 beta. But he never released anything, and he backs up the fact that he never releases with the fact that exploits are required to work and it's better to keep them private. A single developer don't want to be responsible for other devices, uh, for other people's devices, uh, Cydia substrate requires fixes, mm, right. So uh, pretty much a lot of excuses not to release and we never saw a release for a jailbreak from this guy, so assume he's not going to release the iOS 10.3 jailbreak as well, but also there are another problem. So um, a, lot of, a lot of people thought this jailbreak is fake and also look at the Tesco and Sorik are pretty skeptical. Now, just because the uh, guy himself is a tweak developer, that doesn't make him a jailbreak developer. Now, jailbreak doesn't only require to know how to code some tweaks. Tweaks are pretty easy to code. You only need theos, you only need a couple of, um, I don't know, Objective-C knowledge and so on. But creating a full-fledged jailbreak in order to work for a, uh, a version that not even um, the best hackers have jailbroke, jailbroke yet, uh, is actually something uh, pretty hard to do. So uh, he is backing it up with the fact that he he can found um, he can find a lot of uh, zero days or exploits. But why is that possible for him and it's not possible for Luca Tedesco, who's been around in the jailbreak community for quite a while and is a known security researcher? Uh, it's pretty sketchy if you ask me, and uh, I'm pretty sure this guy doesn't have a jailbreak. And let me let me tell you why. Now, I'm going to show you how easy it is to pretend you're jailbroken on iOS 10.3 or any other version. I'm going to open um, QuickTime Player. Here we go. So this is my device. I am jailbroken in here. And I'm going to show you by going to settings that I'm running iOS 10.0.3. So about, you can see the device is running uh, iOS 10.0.2, sorry, and I am jailbroken. Now, it's definitely possible to jailbreak iOS 10.0.2 using Yalu. And if I go here using iFile, it's a pretty old trick 
that everybody can do. I'm going to go here in system version in core services, edit, and I'm going to show you how I transform it in iOS 10.3 pretty damn easy. Now, uh, of course, there are a lot of things that he can do. This is not the only thing that you can modify. You can even modify the kernel version by uh, by changing the strings in Yalu, so uh, it's pretty pretty dang cool but unfortunately it's not real so i'm going to show you now if i go here to settings it says ios 10.3 you can also change the build number if you want in the same file but i didn't buffer to do that but you can see it's ios 10.3 and i can pretend it's jailbroken you know i have cdi and stuff and it's themed but this is how easy can a jailbreak be um be actually faked if we rely on simple, I don't know, Twitter pictures or a simple video. So uh, keep that in mind. I don't say that it's definitely fake. I don't have a clue about this, but uh, it's definitely not something to take into consideration for an iOS 10.3 jailbreak, because if it was that easy to jailbreak iOS 10.3, I'm pretty sure Luca Tedesco would have done that uh, already. Uh, because he is definitely a better security researcher than I, Jopija, and... Um, yeah, do not expect any uh, releases from this guy. He is a good tweak developer, but I don't think he is as much as a uh, jailbreak developer, a full-fledged jailbreaker, uh, jailbreaker, and let alone for iOS 10.3, which of course patches a lot of uh, exploits and so on. So this is pretty much it, guys. I really recommend you to go ahead in here and read Sorix. Um, article or Sorix comment from one month ago and you will understand better about this guy and about why um, why is he so hated by Sorix and look at the desco and uh, till the next time do not forget to subscribe to stay updated do not fall for anything related to jailbreak that isn't even real and subscribe to my uh, reddit or subreddit in here iDevice central for more information yeah this is it I'm Joe Snow, until the next time, do not forget to check out my other videos on uh, iOS or jailbreak related stuff to keep you informed and peace out.